Hello everyone and welcome to the Jaleep tribe and what is probably our final day here on this island. We have explored all of it. We have picked it clean for every berry it has and every bunny that was in the burrows. And now we're about ready to send the youngest and strongest and best of our tribe off to the next island. I'm very, very excited about that. We have a few really excellent choices to pick from too, such as Duke Rovan, who is kind of the leader right now for leading on to the next tribe. Even though I thought that position would probably be with Vonro, we're probably going to hand it over to Dugrovan because he is actually stronger. He's got good speed, great collecting, he's got strength, and he's got the venomous attack. And the Vonro doesn't quite have the collecting or the strength to follow up, but he does have some good speed. So we're going to move him over here too. And we're going to start collecting up the creatures that we are going to be sending to the new land. So stay here. We're going to travel all animals on port fields migrate to okay so this would be the port fields one two three four five six seven eight <gasps> you really can take only eight okay we're gonna have to be very careful this is gonna be really difficult to pick who we're going to send so Duke Rovan is down here and I think his brother Kiro yeah Kiro is allowed to go as well I think because he has G and B immunity he's healthy he's got good colors he definitely he kind of reminds me what kind of dessert do you remind me of, Kiro? Because he is from the Cookie Tribe, and I feel like Kiro sort of reminds me of a granola bar, kind of like a protein bar, or like a, a, a milkshake is kind of what he reminds me of. One of the ones that sometimes people will be like, yeah, put some protein powder in my milkshake, and you're like, what are you doing to your poor milkshake? And that's what he reminds me of with his little shock of hair. So he is on the list as well. I'll try to send the males down over here just so I can keep everybody organized. So males on this side, females on this side, and let's see who else I can gather. We do have Rila. Rila is going to be joining as one of the females that will be leaving as well. And then we also have, let's see, Lako. Lako is going to be joining. She has I and A immunity. She does have blind eye recessive, but it's not dominant. And she's got very good stats. So Lako is one of the females that we were planning on taking. So she will go down and take her place on one of the port spots. And then we also have, let's see, Mirana. We have Kola and Rela. I have a little list. I made a little list just to make sure that we would be able to take all of the ones that I think are important. And one of those spots is actually going to be taken up by the pregnant Rianako. And Rianako doesn't really have the best skills. If I could pick between the two, I would probably send Kirokia. But she has the blind eye trait and we kind of want to send the seer trait over to the next island and I, I don't know I might change my mind at the last second about that because there's something kind of poetic about these two staying over here at the edge of this island together and being watched over by Duke Duke Ro, his younger brother and just harvesting from here so I don't know I might I might rein in on the last second on what I was saying about sending them we'll have to see then we have another little Von Ro so he has A and B immunity and he's you know, he's kind of okay he's okay across the board not very strong though so I don't think we'll send him it's very difficult to decide who to send and who to keep it actually uh, it sort of makes like this almost panicked sense set in the Rovan where we were sitting is sending he has DNI immunity and let's see actually Von Von has DNI immunity as well and he's a little older speed collecting they're pretty much identical aren't they hmm I love how the babies make a different chirp I think I'm actually going to send Von Von instead. I like his stripes. I like his personality. So we're going to send him instead. So we will leave little Rovan, I think, and we'll send his brother instead. So there we go. And then I'm missing a Von Ro. I should have one more Von Ro male, I think. Are you guys all down here? No, you're down here. Von Ro, Kiro, and Dukvan. So now we just have this one little male to add to the pile and that will that will complete who we are taking on the males. And then I have two of the females. I have my third female over here. I can't believe this is happening so quickly. And then we have Cola. So I have Cola down. She has H and B immunity and I need to find where she is. I wish I could take Korirsi, but she is actually sickly. And that's Rikoko. And let's see, Cola. Was that you? Yes, Nasi is actually, she's sick too. Um, 
Cola. Ah, Cola, there you are. There you are, little one. And she is going, she has green eye recessive H immunity. Okay, so that's kind of what this is boiling down to, you guys, is just guiding the last of our babies over here where they can age up. We might start pairing them off so the females are already pregnant and then send them through to the other side. This is going to be kind of interesting. All right, and we do have a beautiful pregnant Kosi, and we do have a beautiful... Oh, you already had your baby! <laughs> You're not pregnant anymore, sweetie. So Rilera is not pregnant anymore, and actually, I don't think she would survive the three more moves needed to get her out of the nest, in the nest, and giving birth. So this is her last child, Vonro, and we will leave her here with her daughter, Isanasi. And you know what? I think we might leave the, bron the blind seers here. I kind of think that they belong together, do you guys understand that? Like, I feel like they belong together and they belong with Rilara uh, in her final days, but we'll see if they can have a baby together before we leave. So we'll see how that works out. But all right, let's welcome. We have two new births coming in at least. That was a predator, you guys. Did you guys hear that? That was a predator. <gasps> Yellow eyes. Why did you have to be born with yellow eyes? That's like a very uncommon Dukta, why? <laughs> this is the, is this the final gift? The final harvest? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Like the final surprise. He has the yellow eyes. I think that's like an exclusive. I don't think Okay, yeah, you can get those. You can get those. I think they're a random mutation though. So you can have yellow eyes and we could mutate them back in. Uh, a and F immunity. He could take Vonro's place. Um, cause Vonro has A and F immunity actually. So Vonro, where'd you go? Okay, I don't think Vonro is actually over here just yet. So where'd the Vonro? We were gonna send Von Von uh, instead. Cause actually, yeah, this is the Fro Von. Uh, a and F would be Vonro, huh? So which one of you is Vonro? No, I can't replace Vonro. He has got fangs. He's too cool. All right, that is definitely... Ah, oh, We've got to get to the new island. That's just the bottom line. Because we're having too many amazing babies like Vanta. Look at you. You're so cool. Yeah, we're having way too many amazing babies that we can't take anywhere. So I've got, I've got to just, I've got to just make this happen. All right, we're going to do this, you guys. Let's just grab the ones that we want to send. And I'm going to escort them across across the land. Hopefully they won't get eaten by the, the predator that we just heard growling in the bushes. I'm going to get Kosi under the bush so she can just like relax and maybe shake a tree and eat a nut if she wishes to. She's about to pass away of old age. Oh, I'm losing my females, my favorite females. It's really hard. It's really hard to lose them. And then new Vanku, can you find where the predator is? Vanuro, where's the predator? I heard it. Did you guys hear it? And then Dukta. Okay, I heard it, but I don't see it anywhere. So I'm not sure about that after all. All right, I'm gonna have Rianako actually come over and we'll get her pregnant. We'll move little baby Vanro, who was on the, the list, over and then they can watch over everything. And now Rilara hopefully will live long enough to see her grandbaby born next turn so she'll probably pass away just as her grandbaby is being born but it'll be the great grandchild i think the first maybe great grandchild of um chocolate chip of misi's children so that means a lot to me i can't wait to see the completed all right let's go ahead and collect this up i cannot wait to see the completed family tree so we can actually keep proper track of all of these things that would mean a lot to me and then cola Cola, little girl, you are down on the list, so you need to you need to scooch it across to the <laughs> across to the little waiting area too. All right, and we'll gather up the berries. I guess could we trash the berry bushes? If you you can attack the berry bushes to get some extra food, but I don't know if I would want to do that. This land has taken such good care of us; it would just seem a little bit wrong. And Vanta, Anara, you guys have the best babies. I'm gonna go ahead and let them breed again just because I wanna leave behind some really awesome ones and some really awesome memories. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and let it be the next turn. And let's see what the great grandchild of chocolate chip is going to look like. And Rilara can go ahead and admire her grandbaby just as she dies, that's so sad. <gasps> and here we go, Duke New. 
Named after, <laughs> named after your, your grandpa, actually, I think. I can't remember. A little blind baby with I and A immunity who can stay here and keep its parents company. So I'm actually very content with, with leaving my blind ones here uh, now because I think they make a really great romantic story and they've got their siblings and their cousins here to help take care of them. I just, I don't want to break them up now that I've actually gotten them to have a baby together. So I reined in on that, but you can only have eight creatures leave with you. So we do have to pick very carefully. All right, we'll gather up. Um, I'm kind of tempted to destroy a berry tree and see what happens. But at the same time, like the natural reaction to that is like horror of like, no, don't do it. So it's probably not going to happen. All right, we moved this young one over here. And Rila, come on down, Rila. You're going to be one of our girls. All right, moved her over here. And then I have... Let's see. It was it was it you, Von Von? And you were coming to replace yeah, you were coming to replace your brother with the I and D immunity genes. So come on, little Von Von. So now we're just waiting on little Von Von to get down here and we're waiting on Cola. And then I think I may get Rayla pregnant because she's old enough before they go across. Just to make sure like we have a chance of rushing her over. <laughs> and it's such a pity to leave the yellow eyes. Oh, but at least we randomly mutated it. So we should be able to invite it back into the family tree in the future. But just to be sure that Rayla can go ahead and start having babies and kind of establishing the territory uh, right away that's a good lineup look at all of them they look fantastic this is going to be the next generation going to the island all right anything else anything else no i think that's it oh this is so surreal you guys i'm gonna miss all of you was that a predator's growl again oh a bunny yes oh we can gather up like the last harvest <laughs> At the very last moment, we can gather up a little bit of extra meat. That's why I wouldn't mind stumbling on a predator. Is if we could get the food just a teensiest bit higher. I really hope they're not all going to die because I didn't get enough food. I'm actually... I'm, can I... I did it. <laughs> That's terrible of me. Oh, and it grows back though. Oh, I'm so tempted. Can I destroy this one? Nope. Okay, so only if you have enough attack of some kind can you do that. Oh my gosh. <sighs> and that Kosi, not this Kosi, but that Kosi passed away. I'm gonna miss her. And then we have Kosi La. Oh, I love how they kind of follow the names of their parents. Oh, I'm gonna miss this guy, like this whole group so much. I really am. It's gonna be so hard to see them like never again. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, let's gather this nut, shake the tree, gather more nuts. It's like the tree, our giving tree is giving us the last gifts that we can take in order to give it to all the babies. Okay, and then Rila, we're going to go ahead and have Rila uh, become pregnant because she's old enough. Oh, and then Lako is also pregnant or old enough to be pregnant. So I and A and Dukvan, uh, who would I want to mix her with? So I think I would want to maybe mix her with... Um, Maybe Vonro, A and F. No, I want to make sure they don't share the same. Kiro, how about Kiro? I want to make sure they don't share the same genetics. And then over here, A and B. And then B, they share, unfortunately. So I know this is like kind of moving them around unnecessarily, but I just want to make sure that I get some babies started. So A and B, and then D and H. So we'll go ahead and pair those two up. There we go. And now we'll get little Cola down here. And we'll get little Van Van down here. And this is the lineup. This is the crew we're sending across. This is the hope. The hope and dream like the of the next generation going to the next island. And is that is that all? Is that all I can gather? Let's gather the very last bits. I can't believe this. I'm gonna miss all of you. I'm gonna miss every single one of you. All of you take care, do you hear? All of you. Oh. Oh, you guys. All right, it's time. I think we'll do one more turn. Gather up what last food we can. Watch her have one more baby. Kiru. Kiru who looks awesome and is really strong, but not quite as strong as the ones we already have. All right. All right, everybody. I'm gonna miss you guys. And I'm gonna go ahead and gather up from both of these berry bushes. And just like 
cut them down. They'll grow back so I don't have to worry about these creatures like starving forever and ever. And we'll gather up one of each berry. And then, there it is! <gasps> he was in our blind creature's blind spot. Like literally. Oh, that's, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What? What kind of last minute chaos is this? Attacking my poor little blind, quiet, seer, sea loving crew. This is this is not acceptable, you guys. Oh my goodness gracious. What am I gonna do? Okay, attack, attack. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, we did it! We got that one! Oh my gosh. Uh attack. Oh my goodness. Uh, is on nine. Who's who's my best attacker? Anybody? Anybody? Okay, can I get him over here? I can't believe this. <laughs> you guys, I cannot believe we actually have a predator right here, and everybody. I'm gonna pull everybody out. Oh my gosh! I can't believe this. The last second, and we have a predator coming in. I was just about to leave but we'll go ahead and take him out and we're gonna get all of the meat that we can possibly get from him and talk about a farewell gift oh oh I'm so flummoxed I was not expecting this I was not expecting this whatsoever oh my gosh all right that's not worth the moves to get you over to collect those berries oh my goodness okay let's do this oh <gasps> And it rained too? Maybe it was a good sign. Now we can gather up so much more food. You guys, maybe that was like all meant to be after all. We got this. Look at it. Look at that. I can't believe this. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm going to send her up to become pregnant, even though it's kind of, yes, yes, a kind of a waste of food. I wanted to do it for the fun of it. Um, Gosh darn, I was trying to get him to be able to collect those berries, but that is really hard when you have to like send him across the world to do it. All right, gather up those berries at least. I am so pleased. I can't believe that turn of events happened to like put us up over the food that everybody was suggesting we get before we leave. Right at the last moment, literally the last moment, I kept thinking I heard a bunch of creatures or a bunch of growling from predators. And sure enough, there were predators involved. They were just hiding and next to my blind creatures of all places. No wonder I couldn't find them. Wow, okay, now we're ready, guys. Now we've got 225 food. That was a pretty amazing last second event. So there we go. Oh, and I lost that mail. I'm so sorry, Anara. We lost her mate. All right, all right. Now, my dears, Koisla. Now I will say goodbye to all of you. I wish we could stay longer. I wish we could do more with you. It's just not meant to be, and I'm really sad about that. <laughs> but it's just not meant to be. And we've got the group we've got. Uh, I I can get them pregnant now, Miriana. Um, what are your genetics? D and B. Uh, no, Mariana, you weren't supposed to move. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine spots? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> what? Not, what? <gasps> oh my goodness. Will I take Dukta with the yellow eyes? Should I take Dukta? Or should I come back over and, and take the, the child, Duke New? Should I take Duke New? I kind of want to take Duke New. Even though he's our little blind baby. I kind of feel like, you know what? Duke New. Come here. We're going to bring him. We're going to bring him. Out of all the ones you may be asking, why not Corisi? Why not Corisi? Maybe I should take Corisi. Oh, I kind of want to take Duke New. Mm, or what about Koisla? There's so many choices. A and B immunity. Uh, Khaleesi has double A immunity, so that wouldn't be a good choice anyway. And this Khaleesi. There's so many children we could take. There's so many. I didn't realize that we had one more spot. I'm like climbing. Oh, and then cute uh, Kurkir over here. G and B immunity. And he's got okay on some of his stats. And then I've got Anara is about to pass away. Rasi is old. Oh, Ah! 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 Do I take the little seer child who was next to the the predators when all of that happened? Or do I take, like, Koasi, who's a female, and she's got spots and berry picking? 
I know the answer. I know the answer. It's ridiculous. It's gonna have you guys like climbing and and chasing me down in absolute fits, but I'm taking the blind baby. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. And Mirana, let's go ahead and at least get you pregnant. D and B immunity, A and F immunity. So that works. And then Kwani, B and A immunity. And then over here we have A and F. So that works. All right, and then Kiro. All right, we've got all of our females, all four of our females pregnant. We've got our four males. And we've got our little guardians of the tree over here, helping to, helping to gather up the food. There we go. Oh, and the bush is already growing back. They grow back a little bit quicker than I thought. <gasps> there's even a bunny over here. Oh, there's even that over here. Um. Um. I don't think it's worth fighting though. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but I don't think it's worth fighting. And then our, our blind couple can have another child to replace the child that I'm sending across the island. All right. All right, and do I have almost everything? Let's gather up the last of these. That was amazing. Without the predators having showed up like at the last second, I would have never, I wouldn't have bothered. I would have never known that there was one more spot open. And now we're gonna go ahead and put you here. And we'll travel in just a moment. So I can't believe that changed at the last second. That's so interesting. And we had another baby. Ro-Ro! Oh, his stats are even better, but he's sickly. Okay. He's sickly and he's blind. That's just a little bit too much to ask. All right. And then there we go. All right. And there we go. He got completely destroyed by that predator, just for the record. <laughs> I'm so sorry, little guy. He got completely eaten. We're going to have to remember to fight. We'll probably have to gear up some of our creatures to be better fighters too. All right, and there we go. Now we're at the number of food everybody suggested. 248 food. Pretty darn awesome. In fact, I think I can make it 250 on the dot. Oh no, 251. Yes. Can I even destroy the bush? Nope. All right. 251 food on the dot, you guys. Predators came. All of our females are pregnant. I feel over prepared to be completely honest and completely blunt with you and we're good to go. So let's do this. <sighs> Kiro, lead us across. All animals on port fields migrate to another island. Animals outside the port leave the tribe and will be gone when you return. And we're going. <gasps> oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. What's going to be on the other side? I can't believe we did that. I hope we had everybody. <gasps> Whoa. Four. Okay. You're in a cactus. You're literally in a cactus. I don't know about this already. I am dubious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. You're in a cactus. Kilo. That's not good. That's not good for you. And you guys, we're here to the next island. It's a big one. It's a big one. Oh my gosh. There's a path to the other island over there. There's a little spot. We could have a nest over here. There's a nest over here. Is this... This is so cool. Okay. And now it begins, you guys. Now, when we come back, we will be settling our creatures in. We'll be searching out food. Definitely trying to roost some of them uh, up next to the trees. And we'll have to see what kind of mysteries, other than the fact that Kiro's inside of a cactus, we are dealing with here on this new island. So I'm a little bit concerned, but we'll get there. We'll get there, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>